Fair. Dude, because I can Would, slap back like four burgers. But yeah. When I'm done playing football, you probably don't need to eat four burgers. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you want to go like back to Florida and become a pescatarian? Yeah. Fresh like fish. Be way better. Yeah. Of, like, no, I'm, I mean, if, if I, yeah. I'm not going to be pescatarian in middle America. Yeah. Catfish and trout. Yeah, ill. Crappie. But it's halibut. I'm not up to date on my that's, fishes. That's like Alaskan. That's a lot, yeah, right? It's like the flatfish. Yeah. Yeah, from Alaska. Have you heard the Theo Vaughn bit where he's like, come with these new fish, like a mahi mahi? Mahi mahi's good. I've never had, never had mahi mahi. Really? You know, it's uh, mahi, they call it mahi mahi because it's actually the fish's name is dolphin. Yeah. It's dolphin fish. So I was at a restaurant one time and I was like, whoa, they serve dolphin here? And they're like, no, well, no, it's fish. I'm like, oh, I want to eat like dolphin. Isn't that like illegal though? Eating the dolphin? Uh, there's shark fin soup. I'm sure there's dolphin fin soup, but shark fin soup is very illegal. Mm. So I don't know. Dolphins are mammals. We hunt and eat mammals. So yeah, um, I feel like they're. I wonder why. Because it is kind of like I feel like it's like. Hey, would you eat a gorilla? It's if almost, someone said, "Here's gorilla meat," I would eat some. I'm not going to go shoot a gorilla. <laughs> so you actively fillet it try and, to get gorilla yeah. meat. Mm, that's fair. fair. What's y'all's view on trophy hunting? Trophy hunting. Dude, we're getting into the nitty. <laughs> into the nitty greedy. <laughs> Nacho, <coughs> Nacho yeah. Libre, baby. You've seen Nacho Libre, yeah, and not in a long time, but yeah, we need to rewatch that one. Yeah, dude, we need to watch it with Fernando. I'm gonna have oh, a, dude, I'm gonna have a, I was thinking about having a watch party in the, uh, you know, the theater room. Yeah, we need the locker room. We need, we need to, to host like movie night because we we, oh, tried, dude, we tried to make we that tried work to with, and, with and, Cooper one time. We like, we, it just wouldn't work, but I, apparently yeah. it works now. I guess we were like kind of updated everything. Like you remember how we couldn't used to turn the big projector TV on? No. I thought that was just cool. like we couldn't find the on switch. Yeah, but they like didn't have batteries or anything uh, for it. They finally got some. I need to go talk to them and be like, teach me how to use this so we can have O line movie night and then we'll Dude, watch. We should do that. We'll watch Nacho Libre. How many? Dune people? Part 1. Dude, uh, no. Uh, no one would make it through Dune <gasps> 1. Let's just do Dune 2. Well, we'll just go to IMAX and watch Dune 2. Or you can get it on Max and put it in that, the big that, TV room. That's what it's, it's on doing. HBO Max. Already? No. You, Wait, it's no. Not, no, it's not even. It's not even theaters yet. Yeah, uh, it was in theaters last night. Oh, oh, okay. it, it's, this is its premiere weekend. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. So I'm recording all these episodes in one day, and it's the day that Dune Two came out. I've talked about Dune Two every episode. Let's <laughs> hmm. go. Yeah, I told him know. last night he wouldn't make it through Dune One because it's just all set up for Dune Two. Dude, but the setup's the best part. Yeah, but is, it, 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 d- is Dune kind of like? Oh, uh, dude, Oscar Isaac and Dune One. Oh my goodness, dude, freaking mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. Is Dune I mean, it was good. Like, is it kind of like the same Leto? vibe as like uh, you remember the Book of Eli with Denzel Washington? No, no. it's it's like That's more it's movie. it's aliens, but not really. Oh. The spice, desert the spice. aliens. And it's like it's, very, it's like humans Mwadid? like colonizing no? other worlds. There's like a drug that they all want. It's not even a drug. I thought it doesn't like power their ships. Like powers their ships? No, it uh so they're giving spice spice. it's spice melange. And it to navigate the stars, you have to have I think they're called wayfinders. It's been a while since I read the book. And they and they do the drug, they do spice, and it lets them chart a course through the stars. Mm. And the spice is mined on the planet Arrakis, which is why it's such a big deal that the Harkonnens own Arrakis. Because they the handle the wrong. spice production. So whoever owns Arrakis technically is, has a chokehold on the empire. Mm-hmm. So that's why the emperor takes the Harkonnens out of it because the House of Atreides is rising up in power and they have alliances all across the sol- solar system. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like a galaxy. galaxy. Yeah. The House of Atreides is getting very popular and he could technically rival the emperor for his throne. And so he takes the Harkonnens out, puts the House of Atreides in possession of Arrakis to mm-hmm. handle the spice production. And they kneecap all the machinery so they can't, do, they can't produce as much spice as is needed. So then the Harkonnens come in and wipe them out. But they didn't think of one thing. They didn't think of desert power. Oh, dude, Dune is awesome. Come on, guys. Have you ever seen Hotel Rwanda? No. Watch that I've heard of night. it, though. Yeah, we Good watched it last night. It was very... Do y'all just watch movies? Well, yeah. I had to watch this for a class. I've seen it. I did a class kind of similar in high school. So I watched it for high school and then rewatched it for this other class. It's very unsettling. It's, it's like the Civil War in Rwanda. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Hutus and Tutsis. Hutus and Tutsis. Hutus and Tutsis? 
Tootsie Cockroach. What was that? That was yeah, it? That's what they called them. Yeah. They like, um, it's kind of sad. I don't, probably not the, the vibe to talk Best about. Best movie ever or worst movie ever? What do you mean? That's my, uh, it's a good movie. I would watch it. You would watch it? Yeah. It was, it's, it's a good movie. It's just yeah. very sad. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of death. Dude, have you seen Life is Beautiful? I've not. You have not? I've not. Have you seen Life is Beautiful? Mm -hmm. Dude, it's talk not, about a sad it's movie. It's not Bone Tomahawk, is it? Bone Tomahawk is I a think good that's, I think that's when we stopped listening Western. to your movie yeah, recommendations. Bone Tomahawk was just too much. Dude, y'all said you like westerns, and you said that's you like horror. Western. That's like, no, we didn't, I don't know. It's like classified no. as a horror I western. I horror movies. When did we say we liked horror movies? I think, I think said Brady we, said he liked, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Or maybe Brady said he liked westerns, and I thought it would be funny <laughs> to get him to watch a horror movie. Because he hates it. Oh, yeah. So I told him that to own was, Tomahawk. What was the movie in the hotel that he, like, covered saw, his eyes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, was it 10 or Saw X? I don't. So I think it's Saw X. He's, like, thing. sitting there, like, with his yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. He was just like this. We, were, we went to see Saw X in theaters uh, the night before a game, and Brady Latham was watching film covering up the screen like this. Yeah, I hate movies like that. Yeah, gore is just not, not fun for me. Dude, Saw X, Saw 10... <sighs> I don't. I don't like saying Saw X. Why? Because it, it's if it's a Roman numeral, it should be Saw Ten. But I don't think there's ten Saw movies. Yeah, there's. Or would it be called there Saw is? X? Yeah, dude, there's just a ton of Saw movies. Oh, dude, yeah. Then I'm saying Saw Ten if it's the tenth one. Yeah, but it's yeah. yeah. I feel like that would just get so redundant at some point. Like after like the third one, it's like okay, you're gonna put. No, nah, well, the third one's the love, last one. Apparently. People just love that stuff, man. No, the, so I watched the first one. It was decent. It was good. It was good. The second one, the which one's the one with the needle pit? The second one. Bad needle, 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 needle pit? Out. Yeah. yeah. That's like dirty heroin needles, and they like jump in it. Yeah. Oh, they have to get this dude. key to the door, and the, the guy is like a jerk. He's supposed to be like the, ba the bad guy. He's supposed to be the bad guy in a movie where he, someone else literally kidnaps people and puts them in like a death machine, and he's still the bad guy because he's a jerk. Is the main dude the, the same main dude? Yeah. 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 And the, the woman's in it. It's like the first one. Up. Dude, ah, uh, the Saw lore, like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Saw, Saw 10 was the first Saw movie I ever saw. Really? Oh, there you go. And so I went back and watched 1 and 2 uh, in the hotel, like before bed. I that, saw, that saw 1. No, 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 no. Like the next week I watched Saw, and then the next week I watched Saw 2. And then Saw 3 is supposed to be the best one. Have you watched it? No. <laughs> Man. I watched the Priscilla movie. Or did, were you were there? Yeah, we watched, watched, I watched part the Priscilla of Priscilla movie. Very disappointing. Elvis, his uh, wife. Her oh, perspective on Priscilla Presley, yeah, her perspective on their life. Dude, did like, you see the Elvis movie written, with uh, written by her daughter or something? No, no their daughter's daughter is dead. Lisa Marie. She's dead though. Yeah, like I thought. I thought it was like, like the written. daughter wrote the movie. She, I mean, she probably helped. Did she? But what would she know about? Yeah, it? she like overdosed. She was a child. When? Like last year. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. I didn't know that. I forgot about that. Did y'all see like the Elvis movie with? Uh, yeah, good I thing. did not see that. The guy from. Uh, Zoe 101. <laughs> oh, y'all are you're young. No, which which guy though? The blonde guy. The main I dude. I don't watch Zoe Austin 101 Butler? that much. Yeah, Austin Butler. Was he in Zoe 101? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, ninety-five percent sure. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I need a Jamie. I need a guy in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that up, Jamie. Do y'all uh Just put it right there? Yeah. Did they make it a Zoe 102? Yeah, okay. this guy. He was in, Oh, yeah, he was. Was he a main guy, though? Uh, I think it was like watch, a side character. I never watched Zoe 101, so I'm not going to act like a... Jeez, dude. Dude, when is the, uh, when is the Oscars? I have no <laughs> clue. What, what movies were even nominated? I don't know. Couldn't Oppenheimer. Oh, that's right. Still haven't seen Oppenheimer. I have not either. The, oh, dude. I watched Barbie. The, it's great. No, no, no. I didn't say it's great to Barbie. I said it's great to Oppenheimer. I can't believe you told me. You thought this, Barbie this man, great? Brooks Edmondson, told me All right, that, you don't gotta say the name. Full name. that Barbie is more cerebral than Oppenheimer. And it really made him mad. It really it didn't make me mad. Well, it, he, he, it made you me mad. You tell, you're still mad about it. And then you I was like, you know what? Mad. I'll give it a chance. And I watched it, and I was like, I can't believe you're saying this is more cerebral than That's why you're part of the problem. Am I outing myself right now? Am, yeah. I, am yeah. I part of the patriarchy? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. You're supposed to feel guilty about it. I, I, mean, I feel not, a little guilty. Not angry. Uh, not guilty. I guess guilty is not the right word. 
but you're angry. Uh, and that proves you're part of the problem. I think he's upset. More, I'm more angry that you haven't seen Oppenheimer. Yeah. Mm, right I, really, I, well, I, want I think there's a time just, and place for that. Like, when it's time to watch it, like, it'll happen naturally. Like, I'm not going to go I'll out. I'll feel and, it. I'm not going to go out and it. watch Oppenheimer tonight because you said so. That's true. It is very, it's three hours. So yeah. It's, it's not a, it's not a hey, sit down and watch it at night. Doom 2 is 166 minutes. How long was Dune 1? I don't know. It was long. I hadn't seen Dune 1. I watched Dune 1 Ooh. in the hotel before a night game whenever it came out. I watched Dune a, 1 like over the period of like three days. Oh. There's a... Uh, you don't tell me. You're, you're part of the party that's like... Part of the party? Oh, it's so boring. There, nothing happens in it. No, I mean, it's, it's not that nothing happens. It's just a lot of... Dude, Gurney Halleck? Heck information yeah. to take. I have no idea who that is. Duncan Idaho? Jason Ooh, Momoa? You really like Dune. Nah, have you, okay. uh, yes. Have Wait, you seen the movie? Jason Momoa was in it? Yeah, he's done tonight. Is Austin Butler also in it? I don't know. I'd All right, I got it. Completely wrong. I may be Tom Cruise? Lying. Oh, what's y'all's favorite Tom Cruise movie? We were talking about this earlier. Rain Man. Wow. Okay. That's oh. solid. That's oh. solid. Could you name a Tom Cruise movie besides Mission Impossible? And Top Gun? Top Gun was pretty good, but it wasn't my favorite. I need like a list. You have to pick one out of a out of a list. Yeah, like I can't name like a Tom Cruise movie <laughs> that I liked. All okay, the Austin Butler's in Dune, Dune Part Two. Yeah, dude, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, he called. I saw something on a uh, Instagram today with him in it. Isn't Timothy Chalamet on there too? And uh, Zendaya. Yeah, that's a stacked crew, dude. And Jason Momoa. Zendaya was in the. Well, I don't think Jason Momoa is in it anymore. Ooh. I think that's why I don't want to ruin anything, but Jason Momoa may be in Dune Part Three, which is uh, Dune Messiah. So <sighs> that means a lot. It really does, dude. I think the reason why everybody was so disappointed in Dune One was because Zendaya was in it for like five minutes. <laughs> that is true. I'll and give they you like that. the trailers were like Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya, and she was in it for like five minutes. Uh, if if it's as good, so Dune One was so good for being the part of the book that like isn't that cool. Mm-hmm. For as cool as the part of the book that Dune Two is, if it's equally as good as Dune One, it's gonna blow my mind. Did you see the stuff with the sandworm? Where they're filming the sandworm thing? Uh, like it's all practical. Like they didn't really? do any CGI. <sighs> they like hooked him, hooked him up to harnesses and yeah, stuff. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's gonna be. I forget cool. what that thing's called. The sandworm. Yeah. I thought it was just a sandworm. Al Shaid. Alaskan bullworm. Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> do, you, do you get the reference? Heck yeah, dude, Spongebob. You don't, do you? I remember, I remember what it looks like. Did you watch Spongebob growing up? I watched it when I was like 15. I didn't watch it growing up. Man. Okay. Well, welcome to another episode of the Boss Hog Podcast. Today I'm joined by Patrick Kudis and Brooks Edmondson. First off, before we go any further, what is up with your voice? Um, because I know you're wondering it, because I'm wondering it too. I've been sick, if you didn't uh, know. Well, that's not... You, so that's you, cool. I built it up in my head so much. You, you want the answer like, that I'm going to give the public? Sure. Public. Yeah, I was just, this is public, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I've been <laughs> screaming so much in the, in the walkthroughs and the practices. Oh, yeah. Bringing, you know, bringing the hype. Communicating the center ID spots. Yeah. <laughs> the Talking walkthrough. too loud. You know? <sighs> ram, ram, ram. Yeah, I was just so excited to be playing football again, you know, just screaming all the time. I'm losing my voice. You know, spring ball starts and I'm not going to be able to do anything. It's going to be completely gone. Man. Hey. We live life. We live life YOLO. Mm, yes. Mm, I heard a controversy. It's not YOLO. It's you only you live every day, but you only die once. What's the acronym for that? You uh, live every day. No, no, no. no. Live, There's not an led. acronym for that, but it's like you led, but <laughs> YOLO. You led, but YOLO. What? Y- Yodo. 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 Yaled Bodo. You should start that. Yaled Yabodo. Yabodo. Put it to start put in your Instagram posts. Bio. Hashtag I don't know how you do it. Hashtag Yaled Bodo. <laughs> All right, well introduce yourselves. Uh let these people know who you are. Uh do I look at the camera? You're just looking. Look at the camera. I'm uh I'm Brooks Edmondson. I play center and guard, mostly center. Yeah. Where are you from? From uh Bryan, Arkansas. Where's Brian? South of Brian or Bryant? Bryant. Bryant. Yeah, anybody from the state of Arkansas, 
playing high school football. They know us. <laughs> That's big so deal. Easy. Big deal. Are you like a powerhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dynasty going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, big not deal. really. Not anymore. We lost. Oh, it's ever since you left. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, pretty good. Patrick Kudis from Memphis, Tennessee. Play uh, guard here. All right. So, Arkansas boy, growing up, did you just love the hogs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah Is this a dream come true? Yeah. I was, uh, didn't get recruited here until very late, like a week before signing day. And I was called about a preferred walk on offer, and dropped everything, came here. That's right. You were committed to Yale, Princeton. Princeton. Oh, that's right. Don't get them confused. Yeah, no. It's a big yeah. deal. Big deal. Big deal. Big these deal. IV. The, and the these six, IVs think it's important. In the six months that I was committed there, I grew a burning hatred for Harvard. I hate Harvard. You hate Harvard? I hate Harvard. Fight fiercely Harvard? No? No. Harvard man. No. A, I'm just saying buzzwords. It's I know a terrible, about terrible place. Yeah, you, you don't want to go to so Boston. Bad. Why is it so bad? Yeah. Because it's in Boston. Yeah, but Princeton's like, in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah but I, if you if you went to, if you saw Princeton, it's an, it's beautiful. It's great. Harvard sucks. Yeah, but if you saw Harvard. I mean, no, I'm Harvard sure sucks. It's... Harvard's so spread out. Princeton's just this beautiful oasis. Well, I'm talking about it like I went to school there. But <laughs> I, I <laughs> yeah, went there. I, this is been, why no one likes <laughs> Ivy people. The <laughs> man was committed for six months, and he already is uppity about it. I've been there like twice, <laughs> maybe like fourteen hours total. Dang. But hey, more than us combined. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he was telling me about the like road trip that they had to do to go there. Oh yeah. Insane. Drove from. You said. Little Rock, to New Jersey. Little Rock, major major stops. Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, Columbus, Cincinnati, Ohio? or whatever order. Yeah, whatever order those are in. Um, all the. All the cities and all the big C cities. What is it? Cincinnati, Columbus, Cleveland. Cle- I don't think we saw Cleveland. Cincinnati, Columbus, Cleveland. Yeah, I think we just drove through. Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah, but Columbus, and then stayed in Columbus. Drove to Niagara Falls. Oh, and Niagara then Falls. Is awesome. Were they as beautiful as everyone says they are? Yes. Yeah, I recommend it. It's worth it. If you really? haven't been, yeah. definitely go. Yes. I think my parents are in Buffalo today. Yeah. Buffalo is cool. Buffalo, like Buffalo is cool. Community. Yeah. Then you have Niagara Falls in like Canada. Mm-hmm. It was weird. Like you could wave to the Canada. Yeah. But uh, then the same day we drove from Columbus to Buffalo to Niagara Falls to Syracuse. Ooh. Upstate. Yeah. It was beautiful. You know, Upstate I'm from New York. What? Really? Yeah. I was born in Poughkeepsie. Oh, great place, huh? I was only there for like 14 hours too, so it doesn't really count. I think I, we moved when I was two, so. Mm. Yeah. But then Syracuse to Hanover, New Hampshire, mm. which is where Dartmouth is. Did so you go, did you tour Dartmouth? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did yeah. you hit all the Ivies? Uh, Dartmouth, Yale, and then Princeton. You could kind of say I went to Columbia, but I didn't, just Manhattan. Didn't really see Columbia. It's Columbia and Manhattan. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Upper Manhattan. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, Kudis, what Ivy League did you tour? None. I was offered by Princeton, though. Really? Yeah. yeah that's cool. Yeah. Then I talked to Harvard, but I was like, I'm probably not going to go to Harvard. A little too smart for them. You were like, yeah, these guys aren't on my level. I to go to the uh, academic oasis of Arkansas. That's true. <laughs> hey. Beautiful view. Mm-hmm. So, you were, you were considering mm-hmm. Princeton. Mm-hmm. Arkansas offered, dropped everything. You said, this is my dream. This is where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Yep. How have you liked it so far? Has lived up, lived up to the hype? Yeah. Heck yeah, yeah. dude. It's a, it's a beautiful place. Great people. Great friends. Great coaches. Now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really excited about this, this spring. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, because like you said, big fan growing up watching Coach Petrino. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. So you grew up watching his offenses, mm-hmm. and now you get to play for the man. Yeah. That's pretty cool. pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I was really like, excited. Like, that's literally a dream come true. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. The same, same guy I watched growing up. That was wild. Mm-hmm. So when you were being recruited, Kudis, 
What were you thinking? About Arkansas? Everything. Who, who, who was interested in you? Who were you interested in? What, what did it come down to? Because I know you have, to rival Brooks' hatred of Harvard, you have a hatred for another school. Oh, I don't like Ole Miss. <laughs> Just Ole in Miss. Yeah, I was, you know how you're like raised to like a school? Yeah. It was like raised to not like Ole Miss. So I didn't really tend to them too much. But it was, <laughs> I really liked Illinois. Um, wow, I did not know that. Yeah, it's really cool there. Like everything's kind of close together. Yeah, Champagne's awesome. It's just this cool little college town. And then Bielema was awesome. Uh, he can yeah. recruit. And they're all like big, like O line, O line pride guys. So Oregon was cool too, Florida State. But I don't know, I just felt home at Arkansas. It sounds weird, but like at Oregon, you're so far away. Like mm-hmm. I'd only be able to see my family. Like, Twice yeah, tucked away in the that was something for me too. Yeah. Like just tucked up in the corner yeah. of and now the that country. I'm like four hours away, like I can easily go see my family. Mm-hmm. Makes the most difference ever. Like yeah. easily they can come to any game they want to. So it's really awesome. But I did like yeah. Illinois. It was kind of game time decision between here and there. How far are you from Illinois? Uh, six, six and a half ish, I think. Where is Champagne? Where is Champagne? Yeah. If I had a guess near Chicago, do you know? You don't remember? I don't know. Uh, I don't know Illinois geography. My dad's from Illinois. Yeah, I just know where Chicago is. I think all anyone ever knows is where Chicago is. Chicago is. Was I right? Whoa. <laughs> is it close? To, uh, I, mean, I assume it's pretty. Close I mean, to Chicago. close is debatable. How, well, it's how? south of Chicago. Hmm, figures. It's uh. What's the the horizontal is latitude? It's on the same latitude as Indianapolis, almost. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> awesome, man. GPS coordinates. Yeah, dude. What about you? Me? Yeah. So, give us your long yeah, your backstory. Just drawn out. My, <laughs> my let me see. How long has it been? Ago. My freshman year in high school was eight years ago. When did you start? What was your, when was your first, like, what year did you come to college? What, technically, I came to college in 2019. Technically. Over, what, I was a week? freshman. That was the second semester of a freshman My year. My first, first semester, semester was 2020. That's crazy. First semester was 2020? Mm-hmm. So we were what? Sophomores. So we were, we were sophomores. Man. So my freshman year of college was your sophomore year of high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So... My recruiting really came down to Florida, South Carolina, and Georgia. Um, similarly, similarly to Kudis, I grew up hating Georgia because both of my brothers played at Georgia Tech. And so it was like, it took a long time for me to get over the fact that I hated Georgia to like really see like how great it was there, like with the facilities and the coaches. Mm-hmm. And I loved the coaches. I mean, that's what it came down to. I felt like I would be developed. And so... I committed to Georgia. So what happened was I OV'd at all three. South Carolina called, said they took a guy in their class maxed out, so they pulled my offer. So I was like, oh, man, I better get on it and better just commit. And so I was like, well, I know, I know I'm probably going to commit to Georgia, so I might as well just commit to Georgia. So I committed to Georgia. It was great. Went to the OV. Fantastic. Loved Coach Pittman. All I wanted to do was play for Coach Pittman. Oh, that's right. That's when Pittman was there. Yeah. I, that's Isn't how that old funny, I. Dude. That's how old I am. <laughs> Full circle story. I know. So, I was committed to Georgia and Coach Pittman. My senior season I was going to go there for bowl practice. On let's put it in terms of a week. It's Saturday and they're playing in the SEC championship. I'm supposed to be on campus practicing with the team on Friday. Sunday, Coach Pittman takes the head job at Arkansas and leaves. Mm. Mm. I'm sitting in the theater watching Ford versus Ferrari. <laughs> and right before it begins, I'm with me, my now wife, and my parents. My dad hands me the phone and it says, Coach Pittman leaves Georgia for Arkansas head coaching job. And then the lights turn off and the movie starts. <laughs> and I'm going through like a life crisis, like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And still enjoyed watching Ford versus Ferrari. That's how good that movie was. Yeah. Anyway, so we get out of the theater. We're going to dinner to talk about it. 
call Coach Smart, decommit. Monday, Coach Hevesy, the O-line coach at Florida, shows up at my house. Well, he didn't show up. Like, he called, and we set up a meeting. He did a house visit on Monday. Tuesday, I commit to Florida. Thursday, I move down there, do all the paperwork and stuff. Friday, I'm practicing with the team. And Saturday, I take my first live rep of college football, which was inside drill and scout team. I have a video of me getting, like, put on my back first day fresh out of high school. I got some of those. I got to show you that. How far, of, uh, how far away are you from Gainesville? An hour and 15 minutes from my hometown. My, my house where I lived when I went to high school is the same exact distance from Doak Campbell, which is FSU Stadium, mm-hmm. and Ben Hill Griffin, which is Florida Stadium. FSU is, it's cool because they're like, it's older there, but there's like a, not nostalgic feel, but just like a historic feeling about it. Mm-hmm. Do you know they're like the second largest brick? Brick in the world. Yeah. That's crazy. The second largest continuous brick Building or yeah. a structure? In the world. Structure, I guess. Because their stadium is, and it's like encased oh, in brick. Yeah. It's kind of like fake because it's not like. It's kind of cheating. Yeah. But it's still. It's not made out of brick. Yeah. It just has like a brick border really. on the outside mm-hmm. of the stadium. Which is pretty cool. It looks cool. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a pretty cool stadium. Yeah. Now, when I, so when I got in the portal, I uh, basically my two, I guess three, were UCF, Florida State, and Arkansas. But I'd always said, like, if I get in the portal, I'm most likely following Coach Pittman to Arkansas. And so it was kind of a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. Well, it worked out. It did. Yeah. It did. I, I've, I love it here, man. It's yeah, great. It's awesome. Met y'all. Got good friends. Yeah. I mean, this weather's fantastic. A little chilly, but. Dude, three days ago, it was 82. I know. I wish it were still. It went from, the next it went from, morning, it it went from like 88 28. to 25 in, like, 14 hours. Yeah, Jeez. I had to let my car warm up. That's crazy. Dude. It is crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so growing up in Arkansas, what did you do? You big fisher? What did you do? Fisherman? Um, yeah. Yeah? I, ma- I like made myself, because I, I didn't really, I don't know what I did for like the first 13 years of my life. I don't really remember. But I, I like made myself start fishing to like get a hobby and then fish. Um uh, when I got a car, started doing like, or actually I, fi- I fixed a four wheeler like from the ground up and like took that on like trails and stuff. That was a big learning, you know, mm. learned some stuff from that, you know, internally, externally, you know, became a man. And then, uh, yeah, fish, four wheeler, and then school. <laughs> school? Yeah. Because you want to be a doctor, right? Uh, yes. Orthopedic surgeon? Um, yeah, that's not really... I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Uh, that's a little bit too much for me. Yeah, but, dude, those hours as a surgeon are crazy. Yeah, I mean... That's the only reason I'm not a surgeon. Is yeah. I was like, man, yeah, yeah. the work-life balance is crazy. I'm good. It so, wasn't the biology classes and mm-hmm. seven years of med school and res- residency. And yeah, I'm not sure if I want to so, do yeah. surgery. It's a little stressful. Yeah. There's that some, would suck, dude. Like, knowing you have, like, the life of somebody in your hands. You got you to gotta own it, though. <laughs> you got to have that confidence of it. Yeah, well, that's why. That's why I don't think I could do it. Mm-hmm. I just didn't. I'd freak same out. Same reasons you know doctor. Just didn't want to. Yeah. Just didn't feel like it. Like, really. we could have. Oh, yeah. We could. I mean, it was well within our bounds to do it. It's just, yeah, it just didn't yeah. feel like it. We didn't want to. Yeah, we didn't. You wanted, to, you wanted to read books and watch movies? Yeah, I want to read books and watch movies. Yeah. yeah. I want to read books, write about the books, and talk about the book. Mm. Uh, you like that? I always forget that you want to do that. Oh, you do? Yeah, I always think you're going to be like a professor or something. I'll probably be a professor. Yeah, you definitely maybe. could be a professor. You'd be a I like professor Liberty. Too. Oh. Well, I'm not going to put it on public that I don't really like Liberty. but <laughs> I mean, you have your reasons. Liberty just freaks me out, dude. Yeah. All my cousins go to Liberty. Well, not really? all of them. Really? All my cousins from one family and my family goes to Liberty. And they love it. I don't know. I know there. some people who go to Liberty. Mm. It is pretty. What is it Lynchburg? Yeah, James Joyner. Lynchburg. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Old running back from here. He was in our class. Oh, yeah. uh, he goes to Liberty now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doing pretty good, too, I think. What bowl did they go to? The Fiesta? Yeah, they played Oregon. Yeah. Jeez. They got smoked, didn't they? Yeah, they got to go to the Fiesta Bowl. I mean, yeah, they did, which is awesome. Yeah. Where's that? Arizona. Tempe. Mm. I don't know. Wherever Scottsdale, wherever the Cardinals are, it's in their stadium. Cardinal? 
Scottsdale. Scottsdale? Yeah. Tempe? I don't know. <laughs> Not Tempe. Tempe's Arizona State. Oh, is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Sun and Devils? Then, yeah. And then Arizona's. Old in, Joey Sua. Joe Ball. Yeah. Joe Ball. <laughs> what do you so, want to do after college, Kudis? I don't know. Keep playing football after that. Hey, I don't know. Just, that's what I like. Just, I don't know. I don't have a plan. You don't have any overarching life goals? No. Like, I just want to hang out by the lake. Are you a big fisherman? I was at one point in, like, middle school. Like, same, like, have a hobby. But it kind of died off. Because once I got into high school, like, all I did was just hang out with Cooper, my parents, and work out. Big hangout guy. Yeah, I enjoy <laughs> hanging around. And Loves hanging out. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like bonding, you know. Yeah. It's primarily what his uh, days away from football consists of. Hanging out? Hanging out. Yeah, I like to hang out. If you sometimes go on a good walk, if the weather's nice. Mm. Dude, are you rooming therapy. with an 80-year-old? Well, nice you know, walk. it sounds boring, but just try it. I yeah. enjoy watching. Oh, I thought movies. you went on walks. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but I'm, I'm short short like an 80-year-old. Jogging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't you? What was the like, jog to trail one time or something? Well, this past week I walked with Dottie, uh, my dog. Um, I walked um, half of the Razorback. I think it was the South Fayetteville Loop. I don't know. We went from my house and we walked the trail all the way around Walker Park, back down by Tropical Smoothie, through the Marshall, and then back to my house. Nice. It was like 3.75 miles. You guys going to do some uh, activity this weekend? Get the body moving? Yeah, we'll probably take her to the dog park. Nice. Yeah. You could take it to the, the field. That was always fun when we had Grant. Yeah, take Sunday, him out to the yeah. practice field. Yeah. Just yeah, I don't know. Susie, Susie doesn't want to. We're, like, we're, we're, we both kind of are like, I don't, we don't want to get in trouble for it. We won't get in trouble. Is Grant not with you anymore? Grant is PK's dog. Yeah. He, uh, what kind of dog is he? He's a pity mix. He's got like Pitbull, Staffordshire. Uh, you back home? Classic yeah. American mutt. Oh, yeah. It's the best dog Great ever. dog. Love that guy. Oh, yeah. He's such a goofy guy, too. Does he shed a lot? Mm, not really. Not really. He he's short very hair, sh- too. Very so like, short hair. Yeah. When he gets anxious, though, he gets, like, dandruff. So yeah. that's what, Is your dog getting anxious a lot? <laughs> is your dog well, he's got, like, about? sometimes he gets anxiety. Huh. But, like, Doesn't like being alone. Is he like, yeah. oh, where's Curtis? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, now he's with my whole family, so he's getting uh, constant attention. With Hayes? Love. Hayes loves him. Yeah, he good. Does. So good. Like Hayes is Cutis's little brother, whose Instagram profile picture is their dog Grant. Not and anymore. And so, oh. him and my grandfather. Oh, I thought is there it was a reason uh, for that. We love our grandpa. Oh, oh, phew. okay. <laughs> I did. I didn't know if it was a. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, and so when Hayes followed me on Instagram, I thought that. Kudis had a dog Instagram for his dog and was following me. And his name was Hayes? Yeah, and I thought the dog's name was Hayes. Bad idea. So I thought it was, like, really cool, and I was, like, I think he, like, DM'd me or something. I DM'd him back, and we were, like, conversing, and I thought it was Kudis as, like, as his dog, but it was actually <laughs> Kudis' little hilarious. Area. Yeah. Man. So what do you like to do in your free time there, Brooksy? Now? Picked up golf. Oh, yeah, golf. We have picked up golf. We have. Bit. We're trying. We're, we're not trying. Really we're not good time. at it. Oh, okay. We're not. No. But it's fun. Like when you're doing good, it's fun. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. Yeah. yeah but like there's you, not many. Like times you might go out really. around and you get frustrated the whole time, but you hit like two or three good shots and you're proud of yourself and it feels good. Mm. You're you're like, keep going back. Keep spending money. Keep wasting golf balls. Dude, I can't. I don't know. I just. I shouldn't say I can't get into golf because I've never gone golfing. So. You should come with us sometime. I don't have clubs. Yeah, that's just, just like I'm not into it like that much to where I'm gonna go buy myself a set of clubs. Yeah. Maybe like after college or something. Yeah, I'll go to Top Golf, but yeah, Top Brock, Golf isn't the same though. Brock's got some extended clubs. You should try. He does. Yeah, I might try that. They're like I think like an inch yeah. extended. I like them. It makes it. It really does make a whole difference. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, because I mean, you think like normal clubs are made for somebody that's like. 5'10". Yeah. Like average height. Yeah. 
Here, let's get into... I forgot to do this last time. I, I, I feel very bad. I'm sorry I deprived you all of six pack of questions. Or maybe you don't find it interesting, but I do. And I get to do what I want. <laughs> so... It was interesting no. when we did it last year. Huh? It was interesting when we did it last year. Oh, and when yeah. foes would me, chime in. Me and him never did it. Yeah, me and Luke were the only ones that did it. We're the only ones that never did it. I think I was the first... No, no Luke Brown was the first one. Yeah. You were one of the first ones. You remember... Uh, the Olympics we did. Our yeah, freshman year. we got to bring that back. Yeah, because it wasn't Olymp- like oh, freshman Olympics. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like bad. It was just funny. Yeah, yeah describe like, freshman Olympics to me. Cause the I, first, I so it's like every week before the coach gets in the meeting room, it was like the first round was karaoke. You get all the freshmen. They sing the karaoke song. I won that round, <laughs> so I didn't have to do it the rest of the time. Because yeah. there's only four of us. Yeah. Oh. And then it was, uh, what was the next one? The next one was like Magic Tricks. Magic Tricks. Tricks. But that's where it fell off. Nobody would participate. Like Brock did one. Brock's was cool. Brock's was cool. Brock's was cool. Yeah, his was really cool. Kai did one, didn't he? No, Kai did a Magic Trick. But no, I don't think he did. Because he didn't sing or do a Magic Trick, but he made a TikTok. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the third round was TikTok. You had to make a TikTok. Brooks made a TikTok. Yeah. It was we don't, the, uh, we don't you know the... Moto Moto, like yeah. when he's coming out of the water. We did that with him. It's a <laughs> yeah. pool at the view. Yeah. And they didn't like it. You know, they, I thought it was funny. Yeah, it was they great. But they, they thought Kai's like was better because he was making fun of Ricky. Yeah. So. What was Kai's? It was just like, oh, well, it was I like know, it was me like, like being excited to come to Arkansas. And then it was like just videos of Ricky getting like put on his back. Yeah. I don't uh, know. It was kind of. We can change it up. I thought the karaoke one was fun, though. Yeah, it was fun. I think you just do karaoke every yeah. round. <laughs> what song did you sing? Poetry recently. All I know is trap. All, I sung All I Know is Trap by Key Glock. <laughs> it was great. The crowd was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they loved it. Yeah. Chop loved it. Chop did like it. Chop He's at uh, South Carolina? UNLV. You don't know Who Chop. Went to South Carolina? I don't know Chop. Uh, that was the tight end? No, no Trey Knox. That was Trey Knox. He's Trey at Knox. the combine. Really? Yeah. He's a, dude, he's a good tight end. What are the tight ends go? Mm-hmm. Huh? What are the tight ends? What day is it? I have no idea. I think D line was yesterday. D line was yesterday. D line's the very last. Yeah, but they start today. They did. Or they start Wednesday. Talked, I forget it's Friday. They did uh, interviews yesterday because I was texting Brady. Mm. But I don't know. So they, they go on Wednesday? Yeah, it's weird. You get there, like, scattered or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, that must be so nerve-wracking. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Then you got to wait Yeah. three days to actually do the combine, like the testing. There's so, just interviews for three days? I guess so. Like, interviews, like, physicals probably, a bunch of the, like, yeah. fine print stuff. Mm. So. And you just, like, what do you do? You just sit around? You just you do you train? I uh, probably, I don't know. Because, like, you don't want to, like, mess your body up, but you, you also don't want to do, sleep like, for three days. You probably do, like, You know, we could probably stuff. We probably ask. We probably could ask. <laughs> <laughs> Phone a friend. Dude, can you imagine going through that? Like, when you, when you think about post-football, you want to go to the draft, so you want to go to the combine, have you thought about, like, how crazy that's going to be? No. Fair enough. Like going off and training in Dallas or wherever? No, not yet. Yeah, that does. Eh, but that's kind of cool. It's like a vacation. Like, uh, that's the, all the stuff I enjoy. Yeah. Like working out and yeah. hanging out. So just all you're some, doing. Like, beach location or in that's Texas. True. That is yeah. fair. Like, that's, I find that fun. Have you given any thought to, like, which place you want to go train at? No clue. No. Have you? Uh, I mean, I've thought about it, but you should start thinking. Yeah, I'm a lot. Cl- yeah, I'm, I'm close. But it's uh, there's like there's one in Pensacola, or maybe right Fort right? Beach. I don't know. And then uh, probably Dallas. But. Brady was in or- Orlando. Mm-hmm. Him and Trey Knox. Oh. And then uh, Bo was somewhere in Texas. Yeah, yeah, I think he went to the Dallas one. Texas Pride. So, yeah. <laughs> He's from Beast, Texas. So. Yeah. And then I don't know. Did Cam go, like, train? No, Cam trained here, I thought. Yeah. He was in uh, L.A. or somewhere in California for a little while, though. I don't know if that was vacation. I think he might have just been hanging out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I see him all the time. Yeah, he is here. Is he, is he back here now? 
Because no, he's, he's, yeah, he's in Indianapolis, isn't he? Yeah. What do, you, what do they do at the Combine? I think, do they, I think yeah, they just they run, run and kick. Or they they just, run and kick. Do they televise that? Because I've never seen I mean, I've seen kick like, a Combine ever. Maybe not. I feel like I've seen a punter run once or twice. Punter? I don't know. I don't know. I see. I, y'all know my thoughts on. I don't think Specs should have to do anything yeah. other than kick the ball. Like I don't think it matters how fast they run or how much they lift, mm, as long as they can make the field goal. I mean, I kind of get it for like a punter. Yeah, I guess. But well, not not like a making kicker. a tackle downfield. Here, they not should. They should lift, but they shouldn't lift with the team. Like <coughs> well, they should do very specific. Yeah, but I think weights. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, y'all aren't gonna disagree? Yeah, cool. No, I think it's a smart idea, but lifting like they could, they should lift with the team. I, I like, like the camaraderie goes. aspect of it, but uh, yeah, that's right. That's the only. I mean, like practice. I mean, they're they're playing they a do totally it. different sport than we are. Yeah. yeah, that's what last year was like. The game that they play is completely different than what we do. It'd like, be like if basketball different. had like a sixth man that was over there like golfing. Yeah. That's yeah, basically yeah. what it is. Like spins the entire game just like putting. Yeah. And then comes so like they in make and a three pointer and they go like, all right, is it four points? Misses the putt. Yeah, let's nope. chip it in. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's exactly what it is. Like football to them is so like they don't even think about the same that we do. Mm. They that's think so football weird. and they think of a tee and a ball. See, that's why football is the ultimate team sport. Mm-hmm. It really is. All right, let's get into these six-pack of questions. All right, so I'm going to start it off. I'm pretty sure I know y'all's answer, but would you rather be a Viking or would you rather be a samurai? Viking. I did not know his answer. Really? Viking? You're only the second Viking. See, this, he hasn't done six-pack of questions. Yeah. Because like everyone else said samurai. There's levels to it, like real levels to it. Like Viking would be really cool. But then, like, think about how they're living. They kind of suck. Ooh, very oh. cold. Yeah, but, like, I feel like... Yeah, but, like... If you're a Viking, then it's like, oh, this is awesome. Well, here, let them let defend. Yeah, what, but... What, what, but why think, would you okay. be a Viking? Yeah, why would you be a Viking? Think about, like... Valhalla. Yeah, Valhalla. That's pretty cool. And then, like... Oh, okay. I'm saying, would you rather be a Viking or a Samurai? Viking Not that dying. Norse religion is correct. I'm <laughs> the best part about being a Viking is dying and going to Valhalla. Well, Which, the same as a Samurai. Like, well, the thing about a Samurai is, like, you is, it's so codified. Mm. You're so prestigious. You have to live mm-hmm. by this code. And then you're a Viking. You just Let loose. ride around in a boat. Pillage. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm off for pillaging, though. You're not built for pillaging? I will, Dude, you are. You. I am. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd enjoy that. I'd be like, oh, we got a pillage today. <laughs> you know? You're supposed to hang out. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, but I feel like a samurai would be cool. Like, you're so like. Yeah, but you're going to go meditate. Oh, I'd love to do that. I'd love yeah. to go sit and meditate. Dude, like, as a samurai. Your answer is samurai, right? Yeah, but it's very, like, there. Mm. I feel like a samurai, like, you're perceived as, like, this guy's a samurai. And you're living life, like as a, were they deemed as like a, a higher, like like a nice. whole different social class? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, They're like the, the one percent of the one percent. Yeah. Have y'all seen Last Samurai, the Tom Cruise movie? Yes, I have. You I seen it? My dad loves that movie. movie. Should yeah, you watch like, it? Because you won't take my movie recommendations anymore. It is a good movie. Yeah, and like samurais, like their training is so like specific. Like they can kill anybody, like that. Just so could a Viking swing his axe around? And yeah, but like a samurai could dodge that and then cut you up. Just think about that. A Viking, if a samurai is going to swing a sword, and like, what's he going to do? Put his arm up, arm off. They got shields. Yeah, but like, that, I don't think it sh- the shield would stop a katana. But if you, you, you know really, how to use a katana correctly, yeah. shields not doing anything. You ever, you ever heard right of the, ones, body. the Vikings that they'd like pump up with drugs? It's yeah, yeah berserkers. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Kamikaze. Yeah, man. You think one of those kids I got a samurai? Oh yeah. Just like bear hug him, kill him. Probably. Did y'all ever watch the? Uh, I think it was on Spike, the TV show Deadliest Warrior. Yes. Mm, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I got in trouble for watching that when I was little. Dude, that show is awesome. Yeah. Well, here this this the, doesn't count as a separate question in the six pack. Okay. It's like 1A and 1B. Okay, nice. I'm thinking of switching it up. Should I do 
Ooh. Would you rather be a Spartan, right? Or one of the, the Maui warriors from New Zealand? Mm. I feel like that's a comparable. It's comparable in the same way that a Viking and a samurai is, I think. Yeah. Like, for the to reasons. To each their own. You yeah. Know. Like, they each have their own desirable things, and they're not too... I feel oh, like a I'm Maui saying. warrior would be really cool. Yeah. Though. There's a lot of history to that, too. I like the history of that. As some would argue there's a lot of history to the Spartans, too. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. I feel like <laughs> some Spartans are just Some like, argue. Some argue. Spartans were... They were just cool, dude. Like, when you were little, and like, the Spartans... The Battle of Thermopylae? Like, yeah. And they were, like, up there in the one percenters, too, weren't they? Well, it was, like, everybody... Uh, it was a separate city-state, so it was, yeah, like, every, everyone, Everybody was like that. It'd be like if everyone from Arkansas was just a super cool warrior. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what my answer would be. Yeah, I'd probably know. go with Maui. Yeah. Is it Maori or Maui? Ma- uh, I like? think Maui is just I an thought- island in Hawaii. Yeah. They're just Samoan. Maori. Oh, go- Maori. Is that what it is? Yeah, but it's not. It's not Maori. Is, like I don't pronounced. know. It's I can't. spelled like Maori. Yeah, I don't know. Maori. How it's Maori? I don't know. Should I, should I, oh, see, this is why I need a Jamie. Yeah. Hey Siri. How do you pronounce M A O R I? Ugh. Chat GPT. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Oh, don't even get me started on Chat GPT. How do you pronounce the name of the indigenous Polynesian people of New Zealand, this isolated island in the Pacific Ocean? Just How say do you go about pronouncing their name? Well, the natural indigenous way to say it would be Maori. 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 I thought that was your Siri for a second. I was like, what the heck are you doing? Maori? Maori? Yeah. You should see, uh, see, look at this. I'm trying to get him hooked on uh, Nerd of the Rings. It's a YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure I've watched these videos before. I just don't, because I like turn them on and then fall asleep. Yeah, you do fall asleep to YouTube videos. It's it's the best way. Yeah, but then you're like, I didn't know. I used to fall asleep to the... uh, Bob Ross? No, I had a radio clock right by my bed, and I would fall asleep to radio, like 2000s rock. (laughs) (laughs) That's a little little wild. (laughs) Yeah, or like whatever was played on the radio that night. Interesting. Dude, I used to have an alarm clock that like mimicked the sun rising. So it'd be like silent oh, and then it would yeah. play like a melody and then it would get brighter. Yeah. And it never woke me up. So I'd set my phone alarm and it would do the bah, 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 and it'd wake me up and I'd look around and be like, and it'd be bright in my room like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd like to wake up like that. Oh, it was awful. I don't, I, I don't usually like wake up until I hear a sound. Like you can like touch me while I'm sleeping and I won't wake up. But if you yeah. say my name, I'll like, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's weird. Brooks does not wake up to his alarms at no. all. I said like ten alarms. So I always it's wake crazy. up. To the, I always wake up to the last one though. That's true. So I probably just set one, but that's true. But if do. you set one, then if I don't wake up to it, then I'm screwed. Yeah. If you wake up to the last one and you make the first one the last one, but you don't wake up to the first one, all right. is the one the first or the last? I can't say that I followed what you just said. So. Uh, I don't even know if I followed what I just said. Yeah, it'll be like, because he doesn't have a fan in his room or anything. Or like, I sleep with my fan on for like noise. So like when I wake up before him, his alarm's going off, I can just hear it in the whole house. like. But it's not as bad as Cooper. No, Cooper, like. His alarm's going off till like 1130. And it'll start at like 8 a.m. Yeah. And he just keeps snoozing it. Or he used to. Now he's a more structured man. Yeah. I need another, I need a third set of Warriors, I guess ninja. No, I feel like that falls. Yeah, I feel like you can't do any that would like go against each other. Like samurais and ninjas like fought each other. Well, yeah, but I need a ninja and someone else. Oh, so Spartans and Maori, Maori, like against each other, and then Vikings and samurais. Ooh, Mm -hmm. I feel like like a Roman soldier is too close to a Spartan. European knight. Ooh, like a medieval like knight. I feel like medieval. Oh, that's a good, yeah. yeah. Oh, but ah, Aztec's dude. kind of a Maori, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a similar vein as in like yeah. a... Yeah. 
tribal like, like warrior, yeah, I guess but, so. Dude, but those I feel like Aztecs, they, like they have like weapons, obsidian or... knives and stuff. Yeah. Dude. I don't know. I feel like a knight, like with all that armor going up against the Aztec. Yeah, but they're like nimble. Yeah. I don't know. After watching Ooh. Game of Thrones, I feel like ugh, knights just like, they're cool, but like I feel like there's a lot of flaws. Clunky. Yeah. Like they're not very quick. Like if you put a knight and a samurai together. Oh, yeah. No, that's no chance. Just, samurais I don't know, dude. Armor, though. Samurais but, do wear armor. But. No, but oh, you, you, you said gotta knife have a, versus samurai. Yeah. You gotta yeah, have no, a, I, to beat a knight, you have to like pierce their like samurais don't stab. But they they can't. Dude, samurais are very. They can move. If you like know that. how to use that katana, the knights yeah, can't move. You can't. Have y'all not, not seen the king bro, with king, Timothy Chalamet? On I tried to watch it, but no. I didn't finish it. Oh, well, if you watch the fights, they can't. Yeah, they're like the swords are really heavy. The armor is not very movable. That's what I'm saying. There's like. Chop I think the Samurai beats a knight. Oh, 100%. I think so. Yeah, you can get into the creases. Yeah. But would you rather be a medieval knight or an mm. Aztec warrior? Uh, they both kind of suck. Like, living as one of those, dude. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, maybe I, I, th- I think I'd go with knight. Yeah. I'd I don't think he'd I don't think he'd win a fight, but I think it's just I a little like, bit cooler. Yeah, knight. Just like on the horse wearing the armor. That's true. Hello, peasants. You know, yeah. like they have a whole like castle and yeah. land to their n- heritage name. Yeah. He said hello, peasants. <laughs> Make way, for Sir Edmondson. You're all shiny with your armor and your horse and your Flash nice your sword. sword. Hey, don't mess with Dude, me. I don't know. I'm going Aztec. I'd rather be like a an Aztec warrior. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Probably like, uh, have y'all seen Apocalypto? Yes. Brock oh, loves like, that yeah. movie. Bro- we watched that like twice with Brock. Yeah, he loves that. He always just, Mel, like, just Mel Gibson, up, right? Like, you guys want to watch Apocalypto? I'm like, yeah, no, dude, I don't want to watch Apocalypto. It's Mel Gibson, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's Mel like, Gibson. You want to watch Apocalypto? It's Mel, Mel Gibson's, Gibson's best. Freaking awesome. The Patriot? Director. Right? Yeah, we, we couldn't find The Patriot forever. <sighs> Didn't we pay like we ha- we, 10 we bucks for up, The Patriot? No, not. We paid like $2. Oh, okay. Yeah. Worth the watch, though, dude. That, that movie is. Patriot's great. It's good. Dude, so, I love the Patriot. What's cool. another one of Mel Gibson's movies? Mel Gibson. Passion of the Christ. Uh, um, the 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 Irish, Scottish, yeah. Scottish Highlands. Oh, uh, Braveheart. Braveheart. Yeah. He's got another like one like that though, doesn't he? Probably. I don't wow. know. Those are the big four. I feel like. I feel like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if he has any other ones actually. No, he I mean, not does. that I've heard of. Yeah, I think those are his big four. What do y'all think of M Night Shyamalan? An interesting, but. Have you seen it's Signs? It's like uh, Sixth Sense. What is that movie? Sixth Sense, Signs. Uh, glass. Um, this is the newest Unbreakable, one. Unbreakable, Glass. Um, the one with the... With Split. The, Split, yeah. You haven't seen any of these? Unbreak, like the... The Bruce Willis <laughs> movie, Unbreakable. The Visit. It's like the it's like a universe of like superhero type yeah, yeah. beings. I'm not a really big Dude, guy. see O line movie night, man. Yeah. We need to we need to watch Unbreakable. Dude, snacks watch there Nacho too. Libra. Snacks oh, and drinks. Unlimited are snacks there. and drinks. Snacks and drinks are already there. I'd probably bring like popcorn and candy though. <laughs> they got popcorn there. They got Boom Chicka Pop. Uh, yeah, I guess that'd be the healthier option, huh? Dude, I don't know. Boom well, Chicka what Pop's makes pretty good. that popcorn healthier than? Smart pop's good. It's just the stuff you put on it, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's just popcorn. regular. Corn. I don't know. Boom chicken pops, kettle corn. I think kettle corn. Um, we have a whole bag of kettle corn just sitting in our pantry, untouched. Yeah, might dig into that. Brock tends to bring home giant yeah, barrels of snacks. Like whenever he goes on a trip, like one his most recent trip, he brought home this big tub of like Chex Mix with Doritos in it. Yeah, that he brought. Like home. it's like munchy, like you know the munchies, like. Bags. Dude, munchies are good. I it's like a, it's touch, like a two-gallon tub of that. Golly. It's like, there's like that much going. That's way too much. Yeah. 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 It's like a big bag of kettle corn. <laughs> he did bring home a king cake, which was... Yeah, that was... Rough. Where does he go? Where does Brock go so many times? He just, he just goes, like, man. Adventures. He goes to Branson. <laughs> yeah. Decent Branson? Man. I like Branson. I went to Silver mm. Dollar City. I got season pass cool. there. Yeah, it is cool. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. So these place. two also room with Brock Burns. Yeah. Yes. That's the Brock we're referring to. Yeah. Just in case. I don't know. Yes. You like Silver Dollar City? You've been to Silver Dollar City? Have you been to Silver Dollar City? Yeah. Dude, we, I went there with my uh, sister-in-law and her family and Susie. It was freezing. It started snowing. Yeah. It was so cold we Is couldn't ride the rides. We like, shut them down. 
Well, yeah. yeah you were riding like the rides? Snowing. I wasn't riding the rides. Yeah, yeah no, I don't fit on any of them anymore. That's just like... Y'all know, I, I, roller coasters and me don't work well. Yeah. Hmm, really? I was telling Eli and Brock about the times I almost died on a roller coaster. I almost died. It's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. But in your mind, you don't you feel died. secure. Yeah, I, I like to embellish this good story. It's a Braun thing. If a Braun tells you a story, like 80% of it's true. A Braun. A Braun. This includes your father. Huh? This includes your father. Any, Any Braun. Braun. Any it Braun. It includes the whole clan. <laughs> One of them's telling you a story, it's 20% of it's probably a little stretch of the truth. That's okay. Yeah, that's fair, man. It happens. What's, uh, what's question number two? Yeah, that was a question long number two. six pack question. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. That's why we, that's why I start them like halfway through. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, me, me, Eli, and Brock did six pack of questions for like 45 minutes. And then I forgot to do it with Tommy and Luke because we had already gone yeah. like an hour and 10. Yeah. But yeah, I'm very sorry I didn't do it with uh, Luke and Tommy. I got to get sure. better at that, man. He's very sorry. Very sorry. All right, so this one actually, this one took a little different. Uh, Anyway, I'll just get to it and I'll tell y'all. Would you rather have no elbows or no knees? Like hand here? This guy. This guy. Look at him. Yeah. And foot here? Yeah. Um, Dude, no elbows. Easy. Just like that. Right off the bat. Just no elbows. I mean, I'd like to walk. You can't. You wouldn't have that. Have you seen King of the Hill? Yeah. Like Hank's dad, bit. Cotton, doesn't have any knees. Dude, could it, could it be like the the way they like when they amputate? They're like you lose a leg. They like take your foot and reverse it and make you a new knee out of your ankle. Oh, this guy! Could you do that? Wow! Because then I'd do that. What the no. heck are you saying? You can't do that. It'd just be like Ooh. I don't know legs. because if you had, if your foot was like here, they could probably like if if this was your thigh and that was your foot, they could probably just. Amputate, reverse it, and put it on. It's mm. really what just but like you can like you can say like you can't do that. It's just your foot, fa like foot attached to your knee. If they come up with it on their own, they can do that. So since you thought of that on your own, you can do that. So I can have prosthetic legs. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Cool. I'm doing can that. I have a prosthetic arm. Well, your hands are right there. <laughs> you don't want any hands. You wouldn't have any hands. Man, I don't know. I feel like they both would suck. Yeah. Waddle around. Yeah. Be like. What would, so you'd have fully functional legs? Not fully functional. I mean, like, like they'd a, be the same length? Yeah. I mean, well, I mean they, you could vary the length. Yeah, I could have a super long leg. Yeah. Was it? You could get that. Uh, who was the. Uh, oh, who's the was he from South Africa or Australia? The, the Olympic runner who ran with the. What was his name? Come on. Y'all don't know what I'm what talking bro? about? The two like prosthetic springy legs. Yeah, one we had a dude that went. To I mean, like he was in the Hunter, news, Hunter, like a really bad thing. Hunter Woodall ran here. Or he's, he's just uh, no, he, he, so. he's gone now. I think he might be an Olympian now. We used to watch him run hills right yeah. by the the entrance to the indoor mm -hmm. facility. Yeah, that was quite a sight. Oscar Pistorius. I've heard that name. Yeah, he is a runner and he had legs. He had this, really. This guy. He was a runner and he had legs. <laughs> so, nice. This guy. <laughs> Okay, yeah. This guy. Yeah. So I could have that? No. Why? Because I already came up with it. Well, I have that. Yeah, he came up with it himself. He didn't come up with it. Technically, with those, you don't have an ankle. Oh, I know. I'm just mad. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of Olympic runners with uh, mm -hmm. pros prostheses, prosthetics. Yeah, prosthetics. I don't know. I mean, that'd still be a decently long What's arm. the butterfly? Uh, It'd just be weird not having like yeah, that, that you'd extension. Like, you could just be like... Probiscus. The, yeah. <laughs> but that was proboscis. No, it is proboscis. I don't know. I don't know. Hibiscus is a flower. Yeah. Make tea out of it. Did you guys ever eat honeysuckle as a kid? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. Big honeysuckle kid? Yeah. You have, black, have, you have blackberries? No. We have blackberries. We have blackberries and muscadines. Yeah, Brock's Muscadine big. grapes? I, uh, I had a muscadine grape tree thing. Yeah. Brock's big on muscadine grapes for really? some reason. No, they are good. They're good. We, used, we used to make jelly out of them. You know how to make jelly? Uh, I'd have to look it up. We followed it. Oh, like, right. I don't know. But like my your mom's made it before? Well, me and my dad did. We Ooh. looked it up on the internet and one did it. Really you know, hard. when I when I retire, I want to have like a, a, little a cart. fruit fruit orchard mm. and uh, make my own jams and jellies. 
and preserves and the marmalades. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, and be a beekeeper so I could have my own honey. Mm, that's Uh-oh. a good one. Dude, maybe I am a hobbit. Yeah, really. It's a very large hobbit. Yeah. Maybe that's what you're you an average Jesus. hobbit. Huh? Maybe you're an average sized hobbit and everybody else was just huge back then. That's a good point. That's a completely point. fair. Bilbo Baggins. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? Dabbled. You dabble. Well, like if it's on, then I'll kind of sit there and nice. <laughs> we need to watch Lord of the Rings as a uh, O-line movie night. Nacho Libre. And then like, and like 19 hours. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the extended editions you can knock out in about 12, 14. I think they're about like three hours and 50 minutes a piece, so maybe 11. Oh, 11 so in, in, including The Hobbit, it's 19 hours total? Yeah, well, including The Hobbit, it's about 24. Oh. And then including Rings of Power, it's going to be like 40. So what order would you watch those in? Um, Rings of Power, then The Hobbit? Because, but I mean, the if you want to go chronologically, yeah. Yeah, Rings, Rings of, of Power, Power has nothing to, do, nothing to do with... I feel like you'd have to watch... Rings of Power at the end, because they don't really like talk about what is happening. You just got to know what's happening. That's that's a good point. Like, they don't say like, uh, and do I spoil it? Do I talk about the wow it ends? I, feel like I don't think anybody listening to this podcast, if they haven't already watched Rings yeah. of Power, is going to go watch yeah. it. Yeah, they're not like, oh, we made Mordor. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. Like, they don't say it. You just got to know what they did. That's true, and you won't like know what's so bad about Sauron, and yeah. So I feel like you gotta watch them. I've always wondered, like, with my kids, like, how am I gonna show them like Lord of the Rings and Star Wars? Like, Mm -hmm. what order am I gonna do it? Star Wars is a good. Like, do I show them the prequels first, or do I show them the original trilogy first? Because I want them to have like a Empire Strikes Back. Whoa! No, Mm -hmm. I am your father. Whoa! Yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel like you gotta go. Order of release on that one. Yeah. And then if they want to, they can go back and watch them all chronologically. I don't know. I feel like, didn't they say, they always talk about with Star Wars, like the machete order, where you just skip one. I don't know. I don't like skipping one. What is skipping? What do you mean skipping skip, one? Skip Phantom. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't that's, that's kind of fair. I don't, I don't I like Phantom. I don't like that one. I don't care what you say. Jar Jar Binks, fun character. No, he's not. You got to remember, the movies are made for children. Yeah, but that's unnecessary. His character is totally unnecessary. Dude, I, don't know, I like him. I'm a Jar Jar apologist, so. Hey, teach their own. Do you like Star Wars? I don't really watch it. Never is your only like movies? nerdy thing Game of Thrones? Probably. He only watched that like a month ago, too. Man. A late bloomer. <laughs> really? Jeez. Too All much right. their own. Would you rather go back to any period of your choice in the past or go 500 years in the future? Is there like a... Do I have to go back a certain amount? Like, I can only go back like... You more can, any, any epoch or era. So I could go back like five years? I mean, yeah, if you want to be blamed. Uh, no, like, I'm, just, I'm just saying. You know what? No, I can go. Because Eli 15? said 1993. Yeah, I was going to so say. So I'll say at least pre 1900. Pre 1900s, okay. That's, yeah, that was more like I was getting at. Like, could I go back to like the 80s? Yeah. Um, cool. You know what? No, I guess 1900s is a little too. Yeah, let's go pre 2000s, I guess. Okay, that's, yeah, that's fair. I'd probably go back in time. I'm. I'm too scared of the future. Well, when would you go back to? I don't know. I'd have to think. That's what, that's what he's asking. You answer and I'll ponder on that. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely go back to. I'm thinking either for like the 80s or like Renaissance Italy. Yeah, I feel like that'd be cool. One of those two. Yeah, Renaissance Italy would be cool. Yeah. I don't know. They just make that seem so nice. I'm not sure if it was. But like. Hmm, it's probably, probably nice for the rich yeah. people. Just like every yeah. Every well, year yeah. in history is nice for the rich people. Probably go back with like 200 bucks. Be this ultimate rich dude. <laughs> 200 bucks worth of gold? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, 200 bucks of United uh, States dollars. Cash. Cold hard cash. You guys want this? These pieces of paper with men that you know you've never seen before. 
What would, you, what would happen if you like handed George Washington a one dollar bill? <laughs> it's like, hey, like no fan art. <laughs> what did you get him to sign it? He's like, hey, can you sign this for me? <laughs> uh, if I was a time traveler, that you know, that's what I would do. I would take every dollar, like yeah, like is Lincoln on the five or the twenty? Five. five. Who's Jack- on the twenty? Jackson. Jackson? And the 50 is Roosevelt, Roosevelt and 100 is Franklin? Franklin. For some reason. I don't know. I'd get them each to, I would go back in time and get them each to sign it. Mm. I'd go back and, I don't know, help Leonardo da Vinci on something. Mm. Mm. Not that he really needed help, but. Yeah, I don't think he did. Yeah, he help. didn't. He'd probably be like his tool boy. Like, hey, grab tool, me this hammer. Tool boy. Brooks. Brooks. That's a very Italian name. Brooks. <laughs> Not Leonardo or Michelangelo. Ethano. So that was, a, that was only three? Okay. Yeah. Deserted Island, you get three uh, items. I hated Y'all this hate question. This one, right? I hated this question because people would always give dumb answers. So they, didn't Cole say he wanted a gun? I'm pretty sure Cole said he wanted a gun. It's pretty cold, though. Yeah, but That's like, what are you going to do with a gun? It depends how big the island is. But, like, still, <gasps> a gun's a stupid thing to have. Well, I mean, yeah, you'd rather have bullets with the gun, but... Yeah, or something that you can, like, just replenish. Loaded. Spear? Yeah, or like a, a knife? Like a bow. Mm. You're going to make arrows? Bow and arrow there. <laughs> you can get the arrow. meant, like... When you run out. When you lose the arrows. Don't lose the arrows. Oh, that's well, fair. Are you okay. that good of a... You can oh, well, here, if you're so upset at other people's answers, give us good answers. No. Yeah. Well, there's two ways you can play it. Do you want to go? Do you want to give your answers for survival or right off into the sunset? Because I like right off into the sunset. That's my answer. Like, like deserted sun. island, no way off, no food. You're going Stay to die on the island. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going off in the sunset, making those phones. Yeah. I can. So, what three items are you taking? Do I edit out this awkward silence of them thinking? Dude, I don't know. Like, can I bring, like, a party yacht? <laughs> yeah, I can, 70, can't I? 75-foot yacht. Fully stocked. You can't leave the island. Party now. yacht. That's... Just, just, just dock yeah, put it just on the island. Beach. Yeah, no, that's good. But just, I was saying, like, you can't use it to sail to civilization. Can I, put it, can I have it in the ocean and just, like, chill with it? Yeah. Oh, you can have it anchored in the ocean, but you can't, like, use it to escape the island. Fully stocked, furnished... 75 foot. But no, no, no one's on it. Yacht. I don't care, man. I'll have a fun time okay. by myself. Like, you can use your other two for people. Oh, I'd probably bring my girlfriend. And, uh... You, you just think about it. There's two people sitting here right now. Yeah, yeah still man. my girlfriend. I just meant, like, for the third thing. Yeah, I know. Probably not either of us. So. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um... I don't know. Can I bring my dog? Does that yeah. Count? I'll bring it's Grant. a thing. I'll bring Grant. It's a person, yeah. place, or thing. Three nouns, I guess, except for place. Three nouns. All right, now you go, Brooks. Well, I feel like this question is supposed to be about survival. Really? That's, I never took it as survival. Really? I always thought it was supposed to be like, yeah, what three I, things do you want? I always kind of looked at it as survival, but now that you said right off in the sunset, I like that a lot better. Yeah. It's less stressful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then we can play both ways. Nah, I'm okay. How big is the island? This guy. This guy. Island size. <laughs> is it like, like the one size okay, not like, like, or is it like It's one not of, lost island sized. It's but, it's, like, but it's not like a sand with a palm tree. Yeah. No, it could be if you wanted it to be. I don't, yeah, want, I don't want that. Well, why would you not? Two palm trees. So, so yeah, it's not Madagascar. Like perhaps four. Four tree? Um, four tree. How big should the island be? Uh, a square mile? Size of campus. Would you want it to be like jungly? Yeah. Or fully stocked with like dangerous then, like, animals then and I'd snakes? Try to, like, well, if it's like jungly, I'd Are you be, trying like, to survive? Yeah. Oh, okay. So like, I thought you were like riding off into the sunset. Guy, That's why. No, no, no. Like, because if it's a jungle, I don't want to bring like... Okay, well, that's... Okay, if you're going to survive, I'll say it is... 
five square miles. All right. That's a lot of square miles, That's isn't that? It's 25 square miles. Wait. Five square miles is five square miles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, five square miles. There we go. All right. Let's make it easy math. Six square miles. Four square miles. So two miles by two miles? Two miles, two by two. Two by two. All right. It's so perfect square. Perfectly square <laughs> island. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like you got to have something to like start a fire with. You can't start a fire on the island without anything? This guy. Well, no, it's just easier. Very mature. Probably bring yeah, he a, can't nice, do the a nice, grills. nice big tarp. I thought he said mice. Tarp. Like waterproof tarp. Okay. Nice, like right. big. No, that's sol- solid. I, I agree. Not a tent. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because you I, could have like. The tarp, cause, the tarp cause can be a tent. You can use for other things like water collection and stuff like that. Because yeah. you can't drink the water in the ocean. You can collect the water and simultaneously sleep underneath it. Yeah. Or you cut it up. Use it for different, you know. Probably rope of This some guy kind. has one item and he's cutting up the item he brought. Yeah, this guy. You have to have a knife to cut it up though. Oh, That's yeah. Probably we cut it up down two items. Something to cut will be my third what item. You want a machete? What was your second one? Yeah, you have a uh, rope. Oh. A lot tarp, of rope. rope. Are you on a deserted island or are you committing a murder? <laughs> Yeah, well, what? Oh, well That's knife, a, axe, probably. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I like yours. Machete? Mm. Uh, what is it? A, is it pronounced Bowie knife or Bowie knife? Sword. Bowie. No, Bowie, mm. like, I, I think it's Bowie. Yeah, I think it's Bowie. I don't know. Like the Who, what was, knife? Who's the Alamo? Bowie? Da- it's not Dave. <laughs> That's not the Alamo. David Bowie. David Bowie? <laughs> yeah, David Bowie is the singer. That's what I'm saying. Who's the, who, was Bowie not at the Alamo? No, I don't think so. The, wait, no, Davy Crockett's like. Davy Crockett. Was it Davy Crockett at the Alamo? Who was at the Alamo? I think they were all at the Alamo. Just all, all, the, all the guys. Just all, the, all, just all the important All dudes. the Americans. They are all there. It was Davy Crockett at the Alamo. That's George Washington was there, too. Controversial answer is that he fought at the Alamo, but then surrendered at the conclusion of the final battle and was executed soon after. Do oh. we, we fight the Spanish or the Mexican army? The Mexicans. Mexicans. Okay. Nice. And who is it? Is it Jim Bowie? Alamo Park. No. I don't think so. Alamo Part 2. Possible. I guess so. Cooper? <laughs> yeah. Jim Bowie fought in the Alamo. It's Bowie. Did he have his knife on him? I think the I, knife came after. Do you want a Bowie knife? Do you want a David Bowie knife? <laughs> David Bowie knife. Y'all listen to David Bowie? I can get down to some Bowie. I think my mom I, I, I probably know his Ziggy songs. Stardust? Heck yeah. All right. No? Ah. Another time. Mm, yeah. All right, so you said uh, knife, tarp. I don't know if I'd bring a knife. Oh, you're the one who said knife. Yeah, but I don't know if a knife is the best tool. Probably sure. a knife. What yeah, kind of knife? Yeah, no, like a big knife. Big knife? Big knife. Okay. Like machete? No. I feel like a machete not, not would be machete. Really useful, though. Yeah. Yeah, no, but machetes are too thin. Thick machete? No, because then it's too thick. All right. Well, what not? You got it. What knife are you? Big bringing? knife, not like, machete. Like a Bowie knife? Yeah, like a big knife. <laughs> okay. A sword? No, because that's a machete. Mm, you said so? a sword, right? Yeah. Swords I don't, and machetes are machete. Two yeah, things. I think machete is yeah, no. a machete. Yeah, machete is a machete, but then a sword gets too close to being a machete. So what's a wait? Big knife. It's not a machete. <laughs> Dude. All right. Big knife is not a machete. Big knife. But a machete is a sword. No, 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 no. A sword's a machete. A sword would serve the same purpose as a machete. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying swords are classified in the machete like a, family. No. Like a large pocket knife? No. Like a... Like a, like a big fix, knife. A fixed Judas. blade knife. Like that yeah. big. But like no uh, the one... Remember we were unloading the table off your truck? Yeah. Like the knife he that's has? That's what I'm thinking. That, I feel like that's a little small. No, bigger than that. Like... Like a 12 inch bladed knife. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Like, I feel like you can. Yeah. Like a big knife. Big knife. Like a, yeah. Just a oversized, big fixed knife. blade pocket knife. Yeah. Okay. Big knife. Would you shoot Okay. It? What's your third? What's your third? A big knife, a tarp, rope. Some rope. rope. Okay. Like, jeez. Like paracord. Oh, okay. Like, okay. So I could, like, yeah. So the rope can separate into smaller ropes. Yeah. I mean, is that four? Interesting. Yeah, it is four. Dream vacation. 
We were we, just yeah, talking we were about this. Yeah. <laughs> really? Are y'all making May plans? When, no, not no. us. No. no not, we would not go together. I would like to. Well, yeah, we could go together. Wow. No, 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 we could go together. Wow. I'm no, saying, we could. We, it's, it's, it's not No, no, no. Brooke said we would not go together. No, I'm saying it's more of a, like a, your significant other type. Or at least I oh. think it is. I mean, yeah, like it'd be cool to go with the boys at one point. Yeah. I used you to know, when you're, when you're like full adults, you can go with the boys and your significant others. That's true. Oh, yeah. We could do like a big group trip. Group trip. Airbnb it. If they have those. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I used to, when I was little, I used to really want to go to Bali. <coughs> I can't drink water. I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry. When you were a little kid, you used to go to the Bahamas. I used to want to go to oh, Bali. Man, I sound like Brooks now. It's okay. <clears throat> no, I've never been to the Bahamas. No. What were you saying? Sorry. I, I really wanted to go to Bali, like Indonesia, that area. But no, we, we talked about it. Switzerland. The Ooh, Alps. Ooh, like the Zurich? Alps. Yeah. Geneva. Yeah, man. Swiss like Alps. The countryside Alps. of France. Yeah. yeah. Like the French. Well, are you going to Switzerland or France? The, like, just like an Alps tour. Oh, okay. You know? Like, go to the, go to the French Riviera. Is that a Matterhorn? Is that Matterhorn? a Matterhorn? Mont Blanc. Hey. Mont Blanc? Mont Blanc. Oh, Mont Blanc. Oh. The Ardennes Forest. Or that's like that's northern France, dude. I'd like to see the Teutoburg Forest. That'd be cool. I don't know where that is. It's like northern. I'd also like to Italy go to like, and Germany. I mean, I Germany. would like to go to Italy and just like Rome eat food, man. Yeah, Rome for food, dude. If you uh, like, oh. really just want to go like some authentic pizza, pasta. Yeah, we were talking about comedians early earlier. Um, I think it was with uh, Brock, or no, it was with Tommy. He's talking about Shane Gillis. And, uh, Shane Gillis is awesome. The goat. Have you listened Sorry. to John Panette? No. Uh, he's a he's a rather large man. It is a funny. He's a, he's a funny bit about going to Italy, and uh, the only Italian he learns is uh, oh, "sono affamato," which means mean? "feed me, I'm hungry." <laughs> I've and seen uh, that, yeah. it, it's hilarious. Go large YouTube men, it and watch it. Large men tend to be funny. Yeah, large men are funnier than the average size man. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's like large men are funny and very skinny men are funny. Yeah. But like the average size man, don't, they don't have to be funny because they're, they're pretty averagely average. good looking and they don't need to cope with anything. To, <laughs> they don't have to make up for anything. Yeah, they don't have to make up for their either very large size or lack of size. So yeah. they can just be normal. Where would you go? <sighs> See, that's a good point. I think my dream vacation, I looked this up. And there is like a, what's the hotel, the Four Seasons? Like? Like the fancy hotel, the Four Seasons? I guess, I guess so. Four Seasons. Oh. There is a, the Four Seasons has like a private jet that they sell. Um, it's like a world tour. And you get on the jet <coughs> and it takes you to like different Four Seasons around the world and like different. Mm. Where, it's very neat. Exorbitantly expensive. But we're doing dream vacations. Yeah. Which I guess that's kind of a cop out. So See everything? Yeah. So I'll keep it at one. Just everything. I'll keep it at like one place. I really... Ah, it sounds so nerdy. I really want to go like to the uh, places of the... Well, the places in the ancient, Rome, ancient Roman Empire. And the uh, like... You know, like the... Travels of Paul, that'd be pretty cool. Mm. I go on to Corinth, Ephesus. Corinth, that'd be cool. Corinth, yeah. Mississippi. Not Corinth, Mississippi. <laughs> we're going to we're going to Paris, Tennessee. Yeah, making all the stops, aren't we? England, Arkansas. London. London, Arkansas. Nice. Tommy was telling me London sucks. London, he, England. My sister's he has been uh, there, so I don't know. my sister's. I've been to London. They studied abroad for a little bit. Dude, I always wanted to study abroad. It just never worked out. Yeah, yeah really. I'd, I'd love to. But yeah, I wouldn't no really want to study, but I'd like to go hang out. Well, that's, Jeez, ba that's basically what you do. Yeah, that's true. The the Saturday I got married, they were doing a. Uh, it was like a service trip at Florida. They were like taking like fifteen players, and they were going to do like community service. And they went to Greece. And they spent a week in Greece. Dude, that's awesome. And I got married instead. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's pretty that's cool, pretty too. Nice too. Uh, to be fair, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, it's exactly. definitely worth it. But 
Yeah, maybe. No, I think I'd probably go wedding. If y'all could have your last one before we wrap it up. What are the other questions, though? I just want to know. What? Other six packs? This is the last oh, this six is. pack. You ask the same questions, everybody? Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. I think I only asked like five to Brock and Eli because we couldn't remember how many we did. That's fair. Uh, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Do you not like that question? It's just like there's so many you can do. Oh. You know? I'd fly. Fly? That was bad voice crap. <laughs> I'd fly. Uh, teleportation. I'd fly. That's a good one. Too. Oh. Let's cut out the middleman. Just get there. Get yeah, but that's the, that's, the most, that's the most fun part of seeing Dude, everything. Because look, I could teleport to Italy. But he I could fly, fly to Italy and just have to fly over the Atlantic Ocean for like six hours. Yeah. Yeah, but it also gets to see the hey, Alps. Buddy, I but could I just the teleport to the Alps. Actually, but he no, could see it from, from the, 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 the south. I mean, he could see it from the... I could teleport to the top of... Uh, Everest? The Matterhorn? The Matterhorn, bro. Man, I cannot talk. Yeah, I could teleport to the top of the Matterhorn. <clears throat> Meet you there, Brooks. Or teleport to Rome. Wait six hours for Brooks. I'm already pizza it out, bro. Mm. Had the whole full Rome experience. Yeah, man, but like, I could fly like super fast. I'd still get there before you. You would, but like, I'd get there in like... You ever seen Invincible? Would you have to wear a suit? I don't know. And the helmet? Or would your body just be able to withstand <laughs> a helmet? The, yeah, would your ears be able to handle I the, feel like it'd be very cold, too. You know, cold you know, like you've never loud. seen Invincible? Yeah. Like you would you, yeah, it's like the animated on Amazon. Oh, no. Mm. With, uh, what's the, it's like the yellow superhero man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what's his name, Invincible. Mega Man or something? No, his name is Invincible. Oh. <laughs> uh, J.K. Simmons is in it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he like, he like flies to Rome and like picks up dinner and goes back. That's how fast he flies. I'd fly like that. I'd teleport, pick up some pizza. Hey, you guys want pizza tonight? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll be back. Pizza. Are you just stealing someone's pizza? Yeah, like how are you? No, I'd probably buy it. <laughs> so it's like, so it's like, order, wait twenty minutes. Oh god, there back with pizza. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, man, that'd be awesome. Any final thoughts you want to impart on the audience? No, no, no. I hope they found our yapping to be enjoyable. I hope they enjoyed it as much as we did. I hope nice. you enjoyed this as much as we did. I see. I'm now. I'm talking to the camera. Yeah, that was good. So. Good segue. Yeah, it's good. You hey, how do you, how do you spell wall. segue? Segue. S e g u e. Mm. Nice. I did not know that. Are we? Gonna, ooh, are we gonna do a spelling bee? We should do an online spelling bee. Uh, no. Here. It would just be you two, dude. Aaron, probably. Aaron. Yeah. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. Ooh, should I have? Here, let me, let me know after you watch this podcast. If you made it to the end, I'll be very impressed because we're at an hour and twenty. Something minutes. Wow, I don't know. Really. So I don't know how much we're gonna cut. Congrats. Um, let me know if you want to hear a spelling bee between me, Brooks, and Aaron Smith. Could I be the one that I'd definitely moderates lose. the word? I would so lose. Kudos could be the moderator. <sighs> you guys are. Screwed. Let us know in the comments and thank you for tuning in today. Y'all have a great afternoon or morning or evening, whatever time of day you are listening to this. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>